Wear Heelys to escape your feelies. Help me get Heelys. What the heck is poopin' H2Hos and Roller Bros alike? I'm your guide, Q. Welcome back to r slash don't fund me, where we critique some of these GoFundMe projects that you just don't understand why people created. And I would like to start off this video by correcting myself on a post that I saw in Choosing Beggars in the last video. This is a post that just completely whooshed me and everybody else in r slash Choosing Beggars. Basically, the intention of this group, that's it, I'm ring shaming, is to shame actually very tacky rings, and this was a joke post created of this woman pretending to shame her boyfriend for getting her this lovely ring and it completely flew over my head. Thank you to my friend Madi who pointed out the truth about this situation to me and let's just get into the rest of this cringe. Guy who doesn't understand how parking works, parking tickets. Due to university overselling parking passes with no places to park, I've parked elsewhere and received tickets. Some tickets are due to me being lazy because it's cold and I don't want to walk a mile and a half to my car when it's parked in the allotted lot. My dad is really mad at me for this and I don't even have a job, so even just a dollar is much appreciated. Thank you. So I totally get this. My university did the same exact thing. They oversold parking passes. So the prime parking lots that were close to campus were always full and you had to drive to a farther away parking lot that, yeah, it took like 30 minutes to walk to all of the freaking buildings on campus. But you know what I did? I, I tried to do the same exact thing as this guy in park places. I wasn't supposed to park and I got tickets for it and I had to drive home on the weekends, pick up shifts at my job to pay for the parking tickets. But then you know what? I just decided that it wasn't worth paying $50 every single time I would get caught doing something I wasn't supposed to be doing to avoid walking 30 minutes every day. Even though it was cold, even though there would be snow on the ground during the end of the fall semester and the beginning of the spring semester. And I know that this guy doesn't have a job, which is really bad, but you should look into getting one because you can't just set up a GoFundMe every single time you get parking tickets. Like This is going to be a recurring problem for you if you don't do something about it. Would it be considered too much if I start a GoFundMe page for a daily moisturizer that costs $200? I really want it. Yes. Yes, that would be too much. You know, like, I understand that, that the beauty products and, and skincare products are, are expensive if you want to get good stuff. Like, my sister spends a ton of money on beauty products at Sephora, and most of them are skincare just to, like, maintain the health of her skin. But she works extremely hard at a very high-pressure restaurant job to earn that money to buy the stuff that she wants. I personally think it's a little bit ridiculous to ask other people to fund you having a luxurious lifestyle for a short period period of time like what happens when you run out of moisturizer you're just gonna start another GoFundMe so I'd suggest either you do your research you go out there and try and find the best value moisturizer out there that's gonna do good things for your skin and also not break the bank or if you're really dead set on being the girl that can afford $200 moisturizer every time you buy moisturizer then you need to do something to increase your earning potential and make more income so that you can be that girl. This woman set up a GoFundMe and then sort of adjusted her story so that she could solicit more donations. Hello there, I am a poor nursing student who just finished her nursing degree and would love to go on a trip to treat myself for a well-deserved holiday to the Greek islands as it has always been my dream. Please help anyhow. Any little help is a small step towards a big dream. Hello there, I am an international student from Russia and have been in Australia for six years now. My visa is expiring by the end of the year and I would really love to extend my visa and stay in Australia as I love this country so much. In order for me to stay here, I've got to apply for another visa and will have to get enrolled into a different course, which has cost a lot of money. My course costs $16,420 and I've already saved up half of it, so I need an additional $8,000 to make it happen. Please help however you can. Any help is much appreciated. Thanks. Okay, so let's first talk about the first project that she created. She says she's a poor student who just finished her nursing degree. You just got your degree. Why wouldn't you want to hit the ground running and apply for jobs as soon as possible so you can not be poor and also do the thing that you went to school for that you most likely have a passion for? Most people don't graduate from college and then immediately go on vacation to reward themselves. They start working in the field that they wanted to get into. 
And then she starts the second GoFundMe, which is really confusing to me. I guess she thought that maybe people just didn't want to donate to somebody's vacation, so she makes it sort of more of a need-based GoFundMe. But is she actually in this situation where she's going to get kicked out of Australia? And even if she is, can't you get a visa somewhere by working there? I'm not sure if I fully understand visas, but it, just, to just let her stay in Australia for longer, is that really a reason to donate $8,000 to this woman? Like, maybe she needs to adjust to the fact that maybe she can't live in Australia forever and she doesn't need to go to more courses because she already has her degree. I mean, you could get more degrees, but maybe when you can afford that, you can do it. And also, I know I've gone on forever about this post, but there is a decent chance since the amount of money is exactly the same that she's going to take this $8,000 if she's going to get it, which I don't think she is, and just go on vacation to Greece anyway. <laughs> Hey, please help a native person who also happens to be a psychic this Thanksgiving. 63 cents in their bank account. Hey, so I'm Elon slash Blake, and uh, we're broke again. Like, literally, it's to the point where my parents had a screaming match over $18. We need food and gas money, and if you're an animal lover, I also still need to buy a rope leash and a large rabbit cage. I have a husky wolf and a big rabbit to take care of. So yeah, please reblog. I do tarot readings for a dollar to ten dollars. Okay, so before we get into anything else, I'd like to establish that I do respect the fact that they are trading some sort of service for this money here. They're willing to do tarot readings, which isn't particularly the thing that I'm into or believe in, but they are willing to provide a service for this money, which I respect. However, there are some things wrong with this project. I mean, the main thing that I'd like to criticize is the fact that you have animals, but you can't afford food or gas money. It might have been irresponsible of you to purchase these animals if you can't afford to keep them. And I know when you already have an animal, you don't want to give it up. You know that if you bring it to a shelter, there's a good chance that it could get put down, but you're not able to adequately take care of this animal. I mean, you don't even have the ingredients or the, the equipment that you need to take care of the animals. You need a rope leash. You need a large rabbit cage. Why didn't you have those things when you purchased the animals? Did you just make an impulse purchase and be like, ah, I'll be able to afford these animals? Like, that's irresponsible as a pet owner. And one of the main things that I have with a lot of these GoFundMe projects is a lot of these people won't have any plan in place of how to support themselves, and in this case, their pets as well, after they receive the money. Like, you receive a lump sum of cash that helps you get off of your feet, but then how do you maintain that in the future? I'd really like to see a plan out of a lot of these people, because even if Tumblr decides to support this person, they could be in the same exact position in a couple months. Hello, my name is Ariel and I'm a mermaid in need of a tail. I've been battling depression all my life and recently it's gotten a lot worse. I believe that getting my tail, I will be able to start getting my mental health back on track. No therapy compares to being underwater. I'm hesitant about starting this campaign because I've realized that there are so many more people out there who deserve your donations more than me, but I just needed to try. I work hard and I pay bills like everyone else, so I have very little room to spend on myself. I've been saving every penny for my dream tail, but a recent emergency has left me with no savings and me barely keeping my head above water on bills. I spend all of my time and energy on others, I just need this one thing for myself. The tail is a custom full silicone swimmable mermaid tail from Fin Folk Productions. And then I think a co-worker butts in and it sort of becomes a personal squabble between the two of them. Really, Ariel? You'd rather have people buy a tail for you rather than use that money on bills you're supposedly drowning in? Come on, girl. This person sent this to me because she thought that it was so ridiculous and I'd have to agree. Really thought you'd grown up since last year. So disappointed in you. Like I said, really disappointed. You gotta mooch off of other people because you don't want to do the hard work but reap the benefits of someone who does. Like taking multiple vacations to Florida. Maybe if you paid your bills, you wouldn't be so depressed. But you know, you do you, boo. You'll never change. Someone told me you're at Warped Tour right now. Sounds like you have enough money to spend on yourself, LMAO. Please, and I mean this with all my respect, leave me alone. I haven't talked to you in God knows how long. None of you know my life or my current standings. So please tell her to stop commenting on my posts. I just want to be left alone. You can delete my comments, but you can't delete the truth, Henny. Get your priorities straight and grow up. Also, and I just want to establish, it isn't shown here, but the original post claims she was asking for $6,000 for this mermaid tail. So the absolute top of the line, custom, full silicone, swimmable mermaid tail. And I just went to finfolkproductions.com, the place that she was intending to buy a mermaid tail from, and the top listed price for a mermaid tail that is customizable is $1,750. So I'm guessing it's not going to cost an extra $4,250 for shipping or something like that. 
And yeah, maybe this coworker is just super salty, but she definitely has more information about the situation than we do and the history of this person. And she makes some good points. Like, why not use that money for the bills that you're supposedly drowning in? Like, that will probably help the state of your mental health. Like, one of the biggest causes of stress in life is not being able to pay your bills. And I know that getting this mermaid tail might give you some sort of satisfaction in letting you live out a dream, but then you'll just be a person with an ultra expensive mermaid tail and an extra $4,000, let's not forget that, that still has financial problems. And I think it's a little bit irresponsible of her to say something like no therapy compares to being underwater. I know that doing things that you enjoy can be awesome and can really help you in life and give you satisfaction, but I still think that therapy is the best therapy. Like, doing something you enjoy on its own is not going to increase your mental health that much. I mean, you don't even know what it's like to have a mermaid tail and be able to live out your dreams, so you don't know that it's going to be the quick fix to every single problem you're having. You're still going to have all these bills to pay, and you're still probably going to have mental health issues. You're just going to have something that you've always wanted. Plus, you're running away with $4,000. Let's really not beat around the bush there. You're asking for more money, way more money, three to more than three times than the product actually costs, so that really causes me to not sympathize with you as much. That's really, really dishonest. Hey, why not end this video by choosingly begging you to check out the Amazon affiliate links in the description down below. I've got links to my microphone I use for recording, my webcam and headset for streaming, and the headphones that I use on a daily basis. They're all reasonably priced products, and a couple of them are on sale sale right now, so consider checking those out. One of the cool things about the Amazon affiliate program is if you click those links and then you do other shopping on Amazon, the creator that sent you to Amazon still gets credit for other shopping that you do, so consider doing that sort of thing if you're interested. If not, totally cool. Skate on to the best of your abilities, guys. The best thing that you could possibly do for me is drink more water. I would be really happy if you would increase your levels of water consumption to a reasonable amount. I've had a lot of people saying that overhydrating is also a problem, so don't overhydrate, but hydrate the problem amount. I will see you very soon, and I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day.